All right, changes are afoot in the AFL world. Clubs are on standby. There's a lot of uh, discussion going on behind the scenes around the competitive balance review. We're not going to warn you about... Uh, we're not going to tell you all the details about this, but uh, I think it's important to listen to Laura Kane, who was on radio yesterday, discussing how imminent some of these changes are. We will um, make sure we get through the player so, movement outcomes, including father-son, in the next couple of months. So if that's not a, coming for a couple of months, you wouldn't think it'd impact this year's draft? It might. It still might? Yep. That's late? Uh, the clubs have been on notice. We've been talking about this for 12 months. The clubs are aware? Yeah, yep. So the point system could change for this year's draft? It could. Could there still oh. be a mid-season trade period next year? We didn't, we didn't get that much support for that, to be honest. So if clubs are aware and clubs are on notice then I'm shocked because the clubs I've spoken to are absolutely not aware that this uh, change in points and how much clubs will have to pay for academy players and father-sons would be coming in for this year. It simply wasn't on their radar for 2024. I'm talking Carlton, who specifically last year went out and got three fourth-round picks to be ready for this year. They traded out a third-round pick and they pushed picks from last year into this year. I'm talking about Richmond, who were preparing to stock late picks in 2024 so they could then bundle them up and get players in. These clubs weren't aware. So I don't know whether it's a breakdown in communication or whether it's simply the AFL doing whatever it sees is right for the moment. But Laura Kane and the AFL have got this wrong because clubs weren't aware that this might be happening this year. And now it might happen this year, I can tell you, those clubs and others are absolutely seeding. Yeah, and, and so they should be. There's a big difference for being on notice so it's actually coming in. And I agree with you, Tom. The clubs do a lot of planning, not only one year in advance, but multiple years in advance, especially when you're tracking father-sons. We know the Camperale boys are, are probably, both of them are definitely heading to, to Carlton and other clubs have got father-son picks. And you start moving stuff around. Like, do we get out of our first pick? Do we get multiple picks? Do we start getting some in in two years' time? Because the Tassie situation. So yeah. they're, they're doing so much forecasting. But just to have on notice... Got to be a bit better than that. That sounds very strange, except they changed the holding the ball rules overnight, so who knows? <laughs> they, want. they would say they changed the interpretation, but I'm with you completely there, Lee. To say it's bad luck is just ridiculous. Um, there'd be no other professional sport in the world that would be changing rules like this with just three or four months' notice. Brisbane, of course, is also impacted with uh, their mm. academy and father-son players. I want to ask you about the National Reserves Comp as well, because Port Adelaide is banging their fist again on the table. They are desperate for this comp to come in. Mm. Fremantle is the complete opposite. All other clubs are somewhere in between. Do you think it would be good for the game or not? Well, it's not far off that now, Jimmy, as we know. The, uh, the VFL, as it's called, has got the teams from, uh, from New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, and, and, and some standalone clubs. And the standalone clubs trying to compete against the sort of reserves team. So, I would, the cost, the issue. I mean, you're yeah. going to have to play, t uh, fly... Uh, another group of people around Australia, so it's going to be expensive. But what would be great? Do you think I'd ever bring the reserves playing curtain raiser to the seniors? I'd love that, wouldn't you, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, I'd get along great. and watch them. <laughs> yeah. That would be great if you could do that. I think that's what some clubs would like. Other clubs, I said, like Frio and West Coast, to a lesser extent, aren't a huge fan. It's certainly one to watch, and uh, the frustration around Richmond and Carlton and other clubs uh, around the imminency of these rules coming in is certainly uh, maybe a, a trigger point that we'll have to follow in the next few months.